Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Compex number C8080 in a 346A keyway in a 14A finish. When you buy one, this is what it looks like. You're going to get a cabinet lock. I have one removed from the packaging so that we can take a close study of it. Uh, so you'll get obviously two keys, two original Compex keys. This is going to be the 346 key cut keyway, meaning if you have existing locks and you want the new locks to be keyed alike, be sure to not only know the key number that you need, but order accordingly. Okay, the 346. This will have two tail pieces or cams that will come with it. You can remove the screw and the star washer that's there. You can pull that tail piece off. You can turn it around if you want that offset to be towards the inside of the cabinetry. You can also replace the limiter that's on the inside of there. There's a technical term for this piece, not limiter, but it does basically that. This limiter is cut it's got a shoulder here and here in this orientation. The limiter that's on here, while you can't see it, but it's underneath here, right at the tip of my finger, we know is cut differently because only a 90 degree rotation is permitted. You can remove the key in either rotation. When you change the limiter, this would allow for a 180 degree rotation. Okay. You'll get a different tailpiece as well with a different offset or I suppose inset. Let's go over the dimensional properties and forgive me, you will then of course get screws required to install them as well. Let's go over the dimensional properties of the lock and the tailpieces. Overall length of the lock body on the back side, about an inch and three quarter center to center on the mounting screws is going to be quite near inch and three-eighths. I'm going to study that a little bit closer here. I'd say indeed inch and three-eighths would be accurate. Width of the mounting flange on the back looks like it's about five-eighths. Now the length of this tailpiece from the center line of the tailpiece about an inch and a half. You can study the offset that's going to be there Look, it looks like it's about an eighth of an inch. and has a width, not that that's super crucial, of about five eighths. The other tail piece is going to have the same length. Okay, We'll have an offset. It's going to be closer to about five sixteenths. Details below this video give us the important information regarding it. Each lock comes with two stop washers, that's what they're called, not limiters. Stop washers allowing 90 or 180, depending on depending the degree of operation, depending on your application, uh, for doors and drawers. Flush or lipped overlay construction, so the offset in those tail pieces can allow for a lipped sort of construction uh, where you've got the, the way that the door is routed around the perimeter will affect exactly where that lock sits into the opening so you can switch those tail pieces back and forth if you need. Key removable in both locked and unlocked positioned positions. The 14A means bright nickel finish. There's a image down below this video that gives all of the important dimensional properties uh, beyond what I've given, the one that I've not given that I should have, length of the body, 7 eighths of an inch. Diameter of the body, three quarter inch. That's correct as well. Then there is a link to a document called Cut Sheet, which is very handy because that will allow you to review this item against the other common products that you'll find. Uh, in terms of how the part number changes when the key number changes. The 346, which is what we're dealing with here. The 390, the 413, 415, and 420 key numbers. 
how the part number changes in relationship to that, but also the antique brass and bright brass versions are available in the 415 keyway. Then you can also order them keyed differently, but bright nickel is going to be the color that you'll get those in all of those different keyways. Now the name Compax is synonymous with high quality drawer and cabinet locks, and suffice it to say, they can manufacture, or I should say manufacture and then supply a full complement of lock sets keyed in any sort of orientation that you need. Having a, let's say having a home where you've got three doors or drawers that you want to lock. Desk in your office, maybe a filing cabinet, key to like. Maybe you want the desk key differently than the filing cabinet. They can do that. Now let's take that to that example to the extreme of, let's say, a Big Ten University uh, where there are hundreds of doors that need to be controlled, let's say, in a variety of science labs, things of that nature. They can help with that sort of work as well, so do keep that in mind. Finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Compax products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Uh, and do keep in mind, if you have any questions about Compax prior to purchasing to help eliminate any guesswork, I very much encourage you to reach out to us. I have found the responsiveness, the professionalism, and the ability to answer the question immediately practically second to none. Every time I've called Compax, it's a confluence of absolute professionalism from those folks. They know their product. They know how to describe it to those who don't make a living working only in the cabinet lock industry, and they do so quite pleasantly. Any questions on the Compax C8080 in a 346 keyway in a 14A finish or any other Compax product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.